Hello everybody. In last video, we saw how to interface the LEDs with the microcontroller. And in this video too, we are going to interface LEDs with microcontroller, but this time we are going to control it with the push buttons. So here's the problem we got. So I've made the design. So this is the circuit. And in this circuit, we are going to interface the LEDs to port one of the these pins like 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. These four LEDs and these are common cathode LEDs are interfaced with microcontroller with help of port P1. And we are going to interface push buttons. These are the push buttons and which are uh, and in which are connected to port 2 of the microcontroller. So with the help of these buttons, we are going to control these LEDs. So if I will press the first button, the first LED will glow. If I will second button, the second LED will glow. So this program we are going to write today. So this is uh, the program you have to write all the programs. So you have to write this for the delay and for this uh, header file. And this is the infinity loop. If you want to run a program in continuous loop, then you have to make Y1. So let's make a program. So here I'm first of all declaring that uh, P1. I'm making all the P1 0 cross 0. So there will be no power, no logic 0 will be there, means 0 voltage will be there. And we are making P2 equals to 0 cross FF, means 5 volt will be there on each port of the port 2. Now I'm going to define every means I'm going to give a name to every every pin over here suppose point two point pin 2.0 is gonna have a name over here 1.0 have gonna have a name over here so how we can give this I'm gonna tell you right now so for that as bit register is there so I'm using as bit register so you can uh, this is the syntax to give a name to any register so suppose I'm in 1.0 so p 1.0 is suppose sorry p suppose i'm going to give a name suppose led1 that's why l1 equals to p 1.1 so this is how you can give a name to any particular pin so this is what we i'm going to do for rest of the leds so let's copy and paste and make this 2 3 and 4 and sorry pin 1.0 it start from 0 1 2 and then 3 same we are going to do for the switches so let's give name to the switches so s s2 s3 s4 switches are on the port 2 that's why 2.0 2.1 2.2 and 2.3 so we have game we gave the name to every pin of the microcontroller so whenever i will call l1 so automatically p 1.0 will act as a l1 so now i'm going to write a command so I'm checking over here if my switch one I made all the switches logic one now if I will press the button suppose where is this if I will press this button so what will happen if this button will close the circuit and logic zero will send to that respective pin that's our logic zero will be given over there so we will check the condition how to check the condition with this operator so this is condi conditional operator so i'm checking the condition that if s1 is zero then you have to make led1 zero sorry led1 glow you have to make led1 one right now all the pins are zero over here so if this is gonna happen then you have to make led1 one and here I am giving delay of 50. 
same thing I'm going to do for rest of the switches and LEDs. So let's copy and paste. So we will check switch 2. That means switch 2.1 pin 2.1. We will close the LED L2. If S3 is gonna happen same, then L3 will close. And if I will switch 4 will be pressed, then LED 4 will glow. Let's give a space. Okay, now our program is ready. Let's save this and make a hex file to dump on the R design. So let's make mm, first of all build this. Pro, uh, go to the target. Double hmm. you have to add this file in the source code this C file so it's not added so add it in the group so right click on the source group option for sorry double click on the source group and add this to your project after adding this you can see your file over here so right click on the target option for target and you can give the crystal frequency whatever you want so i want 33 now i have to make a hex file so that's why i'm checking this box create a hex file and making okay now build the program so this is for building the program i'm going to build the program i'm going to check any error is over there says there is no error so i can turn this program on my microcontroller so let's open the design in the proteus so this is the design i have already made so how to add i have told you already double click on the this and find the hex file where's the hex file so i have saved in the desktop so let's find where the desktop desktop i've made a folder button and here in object button dot hacks it's automatically created in the object folder and I have added the file in this now let's run the file okay it's running okay now we are ready to go now you can see these are the in red colors that means these all are in logic one and these are in the blue colors that means these are in all logic zero so it's exactly working as we have programmed now we this this logic zero if i will press this button this logic zero will make this one as a zero let's see you can see it has been zero and our led has been cloned let's do this for the second switch for third switch and the fourth switch so this is not exactly happening as we wanted means if you are clicking this then then, on, then only your LED should be, and if I am releasing the button then it should not be so there is little bit change we have to do in the program so let's open the program again and you have to make this declaration inside the infinity loop so it will happen forever so whenever you will press the switch one it will become zero and it will again become one because of this this has come in the infinity loop so let's see it works exactly or not so save this and build it this time you don't have to create access automatic rebuild so let's open the design and play now let's see it exactly works like we wanted I am pressing the button, I am releasing, the light is gone. Let's do it again. Okay, so it's working exactly as I want. So this is how you can interface buttons and LEDs to the microcontroller and you can play with it. It's very fun. So this is the simulation I've shown this and this was, that was the program. So I'm gonna explain you again the program. Here the header file, this is the delay function I have made and 
in this is the s bit register which defines your every pin it gives name to your every pin if you are writing pin 1.0 and if you are giving your name suppose your name is sam or anything else so whenever you call sam it will directly call to that respective pin number so in void main we make the infinity loop in main function we made infinity loop and in that infinity loop we decided that p1 and p2 gonna be z this forever so after defining those port 0 and 1 i've checked the condition if i'm making a port s1 s1 means 1.0 if uh, sorry 2.0 if i'm making 2.0 pin number 2.0 as 0 then my led 1 should glow so this is how i made the program for this all and so this was very fun i hope you like my video and uh, if you want to and keep watching my video and if you share with your friends if they want to learn too and if you have any kind of doubts, please comment down below. Thank you so much. And please do subscribe to my channel.